Are you a nursing student that wants to cut your study time by over 60%? Well, you can head over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube and sign up for free. Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, I'm gonna quickly introduce to you the role of the circulatory system. So what is the circulatory system? Well, firstly, it's a collection of blood vessels, and we know that blood vessels comprise of arteries, arterioles, capillary beds, venules and veins, but it's also the components within these blood vessels. There's, so this is blood, this is plasma, these are proteins and all the other components inside. Now what's the primary role of the circulatory system? Well, simply put, it's to deliver things such as oxygen and nutrients to the tissues of our body. Now nutrients can include glucose, it can be fatty acids, it can be amino acids, for example. And what the tissues do is they take these and they utilize them to produce energy and as the building blocks for growth and development. But when the tissues do this, they release byproducts, what we call metabolic byproducts. And if they remain in the body, they can become quite toxic. So that means the tissues will release things like carbon dioxide, and wastes. Struggling to stay afloat during nursing school? Let me help you achieve our 96% pass rate by heading over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube and signing up for free.